Hello guys, welcome back. On today's tutorial, we're going to go over how you go about adding a ceiling within your um, model space. So the first thing I want you guys to see is I am actually in my level one um, floor plan. Uh, when you guys are doing your ceilings, you actually want to make sure that you guys are in a ceiling plan. So um, if you guys are trying to add um, a ceiling to your level one, then you also want to be in your ceiling plan level one as well. So you want to go over to your project browser and just go ahead and double click on your um, ceiling plan level one or... Um, whatever the name of your floor plan would be. So once you guys are in your ceiling plan, you wanna go ahead and go to your architecture tab, go over to your ceiling, and you wanna go ahead and click once. Once you guys click once, just a few things before you um, start to model within your model space is um, Revit will give you guys two different options on how you can go about creating your ceilings. So you guys can either choose to do an automatic ceiling, which just means that Revit will place that ceiling um, automatically based on the parameters or the borders um, within your model. So um, for instance, if I come to my model space, you guys will see um, as I move throughout my rooms, it will start to highlight kind of a bold um, red perimeter. That means that's where it would place the ceiling. So sometimes um, it's this is a good um, tool if you guys are um, just trying to do something really quick and you guys don't have any weird um, boundaries within your rooms, um, then it's easy to go ahead and just do the automatic ceiling. Now, where you guys will run into an issue is when you get into areas like this where you may not um, necessarily have the correct borders. Um, so right now, Revit will read if I'm using automatic ceilings this entire space as one ceiling. Now, if that is how your project is meant to be set up, then by all means, awesome. You guys don't have any issues. But um, if, for instance, let's just say the ceiling was different in this area than it was um, in this portion of the project, then um, you probably want to go ahead and go with the sketch ceiling instead of doing the automatic ceiling because Revit will pick this up as one um, full space. So that's the first option. Now, the second option that you guys have is your sketch ceiling. Um, once I click on my sketch ceiling, it will take me into um, the tool itself, um, which means that um, we'll have to hit that green check mark or that red X to come out of that tool completely. So I'm going to go ahead and click once. If I'm doing my sketch ceiling instead, once I click there, you guys will see that it changes that menu one more time. It also gives us the um, mode option, which means that we have to either cancel what we've done in our model space to come out of this tool or accept those changes to come completely out of that tool. So um, just know um, that Revit will bring you guys here and you will have to choose one of these to come out. So um, when you guys are doing your sketch ceiling, um, you want to first go ahead and come over to your properties. And um, this step will actually be the same if you guys were doing your um, automatic ceilings as well. You will also want to come over to your properties and check those properties before you guys actually place those automatic ceilings as well. So the first thing that you guys will want to look at underneath your properties is what type of ceiling you guys are actually creating. So if you guys click on that flyout, it will give you just kind of some of the basic um, ceilings that Revit has available. So right now it has the generic, it has a two by two ACT, um, a two by four ACT, and a gypsum or metal stud. So for purpose of example, I'm just gonna leave it at the two by four, but just know that it gives you these options that you guys can choose from. You also have the option, um, if you don't see a ceiling here um, that works with your project, you guys know you can also also create a custom ceiling by going to your edit type which is um, a little bit more advanced um, than this video but um, just know that you guys have that option as well 
Um, the next thing you guys want to take a look at is your constraints. So right now, um, we want to make sure that whatever level, again, that we are creating that ceiling on, we also want that to read here. So we are on our level one, so we also want this to read level one as well. Um, the next thing that is really important to make sure that you guys take a look at is your height offset, which means um, that how high do you guys want those ceilings to be? So right now um, it's set and I think it will automatically set it to that eight feet. Um, if I wanted that, for instance, to be nine a nine foot ceiling, I can just click in that box, highlight that um, dimension type in nine feet on my keyboard, hit enter, and it will change that height. So you guys wanna go ahead and make sure that you change your height before you guys actually come to your model and start to create. Um, you also have the option um, where it says room bounding. You do wanna go ahead and keep that um, checked as well. So those are gonna be the four things that you guys wanna make sure that you check before you come over to the model space itself. So once I have those items um, double checked, I wanna come up to my draw area. I wanna make sure that I have my boundary line selected that is highlighted blue. And then I want to tell Revit how I actually want to go about um, drawing that ceiling. So for purpose of this example, I'm just going to use the first option, the line tool, and I'm just gonna go in and sketch what I want that ceiling to be. I'm going to also allow Revit to um, guide me in that it allows me to snap to those points um, that I'm looking for. Again, that's just kind of a good tip when you guys are in Revit, um, if it is allowing you guys to snap on a particular point to make sure that your lines are straight, you guys do wanna make sure that you're paying attention to that as well. So I'm just gonna click once to set that sketch down and I'm just gonna go around and make sure that I'm clicking on each of these corners. Right. So once I have that ceiling sketch, so right now I'm creating a two by four ACT system at my level one at nine feet um, above my finished floor. And I want the sketch of my ceiling to um, be within the parameters that I created. So once you guys are happy with what you have, you wanna go ahead and hit this green check mark. Again, that's allowing you guys to accept those changes and to come completely out of that tool. So once I come out, it will highlight that ceiling that you guys have just created. I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape just to unhighlight that. And it has created that ceiling for me. Um, I also get questions, um, what if the pattern comes in um, the wrong direction? Um, that's a pretty easy fix. So if you guys will just hover and you wanna click on one of the lines to the pattern, it, once you guys click, it will change your menu up top. You want to get your rotate tool, click once, allow Revit to snap perfectly vertical. Once you have it snapped, click once to begin your rotate. And you wanna go into it snaps on your 90, if that's where you guys are taking it. Click that second time and it will um, change the direction of your ceiling pattern. So if you guys have that issue and that comes up, um, you guys are able to easily fix that as well. So that is how you guys go about adding in um, a ceiling within your model space. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. And also please feel free to leave a comment down below on videos or recommendations that you guys would like to see. And um, thank you guys for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.